Quinn, the quarterback, the great passer. And wants to put it up, does so. To his receiver on the right-hand side, Matt Nealon. First down ball at the 37-yard line after the turnover. Flynn back to pass again. Short drop, right side, and has Nealon again for another first down. First down, St. Mary's. Ball at the 25 of Bishops. Early first quarter. Flynn rolls left. He can also run with the ball and will this time. Flynn to the 10, to the 5, and out of bounds. Second down and 6. Takes the screen left, screens back the other way. This time to Williams, and Williams has the first down and more as he sprints down the sideline. Broken play, Flynn in trouble, finally screens it off. Williams gets away from the hit, now he has some running room. Williams right side to the 50 to center field. Great block on Schumann, and Williams is down at the Gator 47 yard line. Bill Scully. Flynn with the straight drop this time into the pocket. Fires deep. Intended for number 73, Smith, and Smith has it for six points. A 55 yard touchdown pass from Chris Flynn to Brian Smith. yesterday that Brian Smith was going to be their clutch receiver and he got outside into that sunny area on the field and the ball was just thrown perfectly by Chris Flynn took that ball outside by the sideline and just outran the defensive player second down 13 a minute eight to go Flynn in the dot drop straight back has all kinds of pressure from Joseph number 97 Still on his feet is Chris Flynn, and now he has some running room. Flynn cuts to the outside. Good block by Scholar. Flynn with a first down and out of bounds. Driven over the bench, and a penalty for that infraction will give St. Mary's the ball inside Bishop's 30-yard line. Well, that's what excites everybody that support the St. Mary's team. Just what Chris Flynn did on that particular play. He could have been thrown for a 25 or 30-yard loss. Instead, he gets a first down all by himself. Great block. First down. And then, as the official is saying, number 11 again. He got the rough call down on the pass play. Prior to this, gets a rough call as he pushed him right at the St. Mary's bench after his long out of bounds. But just a great, not only individual effort by number one, but he does get two or three outstanding blocks as he does come downfield. And now with less than a minute to go, Chris Flynn and the Huskies are in position again to put some points on the board. Now watch, you're not about. That's right, they've been able to contain him, and also he did miss that big tackle on Williams when he broke away for about that 45-yard run. Flynn drops, throws over the middle, it's great catch, and he goes into the end zone, Matt Nealon for the touchdown. First down, Huskies, ball at their own 41-yard line. Flynn sprinting left, will run. Gets outside one man, ducks through two more, and is finally brought down by Leroy Blue after a gain of 14 yards on the play. And that will give St. Mary's yet another first down. Well, just a great burst of speed. Flynn came out there, and that is almost a design rollout. And he shows great burst of speed and sprinting between number 29, Doug Stamper, and number 11, Vic Gilmore, right there. He just went right between the two of them and picked up another seven or eight yards. And that's just the outstanding athletic ability that this young man has. Number one, Chris Flynn. 82 yards now. The scrambling Chris Flynn is picked up on the ground. This time the quarterback, quarterback draw. It was a penalty right up the middle. Second and ten. couldn't remember the snap count came back and asked the quarterback Flynn puts it up left side completes his scholar and scholars inside the 15 down to the 12 yard line I know in talking to Billy last night he said we can throw that ball even when we get ahead we feel comfortable that Flynn won't throw the ball away and make the bad play I feel he's matured that much in the two years he's been here straight drop 
Flynn right side, intended for McDonald. He's got it. Just a great catch. Flag on the play. He was going to be called for interference, but McDonald makes the catch. number 30 has to be saying to himself what else do I have to do he had perfect defensive coverage he was right in the back pocket of McDonald he had him inside out coverage but Flynn laid that ball out there perfectly for McDonald but Haynes was in perfect position you could not for a defensive back to be in better position as the ball comes down here he'll be right in McDonald's back pocket but he did get called the ball was laid right over his head and he did put his hand on him a little earlier. Flynn, left side. And he's got that to Matt Nealon. And Nealon, who has the touchdown earlier, is within a yard. It becomes second and goal from the one. Flynn throws it over the middle for the touchdown to Bill Scholar. Dunthorne, you could see in the replay from that angle, was going to pitch it forward to Gus Karazakis, and then at the last second said, can't do that. Flynn wants to put it up, tries to fake back, and still in the field of play. Now he has somebody open, and he completes it to Hubert. Jody Hubert, the blocking back, and he will have a first down on a broken play. Chris Flynn, who many feel is the outstanding player in this country, certainly showing it today. He caught the ball, he 